Hey Belly, are you working with me today? Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. There's no question that right now we are in a very difficult situation. Every country is struggling with the COVID-19 and I just really hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I really, I really appreciate your support that you in this difficult time visit this channel and watch this video. Uh, I'd like to share a few thoughts about this situation before I go with, uh, with the topic for uh, today's video. Uh, one of the most remarkable things about what's happening right now is how many people reach out to each other. And I don't know about you, but, but in the last few uh, few weeks, uh, so many of my friends reach out to me and I reach out to, to them. And this is quite uh, amazing that uh, we need sometimes a the, the big crisis to realize that we need to just slow down our daily life and reach out to, to our friends, family, uh, to people we care about. And I think it's really beautiful. Uh, again, thank you so much for, for all your support. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, a very important subject of observation. Uh, when I start uh, talking about this during my workshop, some people kind of roll their eyes and, uh, and they think, oh, well, we all know that. But uh, when we really think deeply about observation and concentration, this is one of the most important ingredients to shoot great imagery. Well, it may sound simple, but for many people it's incredibly difficult to do. As humans, we are naturally wired to concentrate on important and efficient things and filter out all the rest. Well, such an approach has served us well over many, many years and ages. In creative photography, this is a major obstacle. Have you noticed when walking around the city that your brain filters out so much noise and visuals? Of course it does. Because when you, we usually stroll around town without challenging ourselves what we see and how we see it. So how does it work? It's this, this, this kind of efficient approach to seeing it works really well when, let's say, we try to get from point A to point B. No question about it. When we uh, focus on being productive and achieving tasks, let's say that you commute to work, uh, your objective is to make sure you don't bump into somebody, you don't step on something, and in the shortest amount of time, you, you get from home to your work. But that's not how you do it. That's not how you see photographically. But what does it really mean to see photographically? You know, Elliot Erwitt described it this way. To me, photography is an art of observation. It's about finding something interesting in ordinary place. But what does it really mean to, to find something interesting in ordinary place? In order to do that, we must challenge our seeing. In other words, we need to break our seeing patterns and go for something new, uncomfortable, and different. And this is the hard part. Really, this is the hard part. You know, the problem when shooting within the city or even when you travel is this overwhelming uh, 
busyness of, of the world around us. We have a light, we have movements, we have noise. Everything is fighting for our attention. And the way we live, we learned to accept some signals and block others. So how can we help ourselves? How can we overcome this obstacle? There are many exercises that we can do. And today I would like to share just one with you. Belly, what's going on? S something is bothering you? So how can we solve this problem? How can we help our seeing? Uh, there are many exercises we can do, but I would like to share one with you today. Um, uh, just during your routine day or even during uh, your lunch at work, uh, try to go over and over again to the same spot. It could be just a, a bench in, in the park or maybe a corner coffee shop when you sit and observe what's happening inside and on the street. But make sure you go there all the time, over and over again, okay? Why is it important? Because once we visit any place, we are attracted by the same visual signals that we use during our daily routines. So in other words, we see some things, but our brain blocks out the others, okay? And that's, this, is, this is a very serious problem when uh, trying to photograph, okay? So by going back to the same place over and over again, what we do, we force ourselves to get bored with certain visuals around us and our seeing opens up to new experiences. So for example, we may be going to the same uh, uh, park all the time and we use, usually see the same things. But at one point, you may notice a, a small garbage can or our different uh, crack in the paint on the bench. And that's how you start seeing the way uh, in creative way. This is very, very important exercise and I urge you to do it as often as possible. I try to do it all on the daily basis. I'm going back to the same locations over and over again. Okay? So when we do it, we move from this normal seeing to much more articulate and deliberate, detailed seeing. So uh, before I share with you uh, the, uh, today's footage from the field, I would like to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. And uh, if you like what you see, and you enjoy this channel, I would really appreciate your help. Uh, you can help uh, uh, this channel by purchasing one of my books. You will find the link in the description. I really appreciate your support. So I would like to share with you the footage from Berlin that was shot a while ago, but I think it's very useful. And you will see that many images that I shot in this very video I was able to do that because I stayed in the same place and I was observing. I tried to switch from this, uh, from this efficient uh, daily seeing to this uh, careful and detailed photographic seeing. And that's why I was able to capture some of these images. So I hope you will enjoy this footage. Make sure to stay safe. Uh, and well, and um, I will uh, I will connect with you uh, soon. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Okay, Billy, let's go. Don't be afraid to change perspective and play with this. You cannot much shoot on this side. 
because it's cluttered, there are like signs, yeah. colors, destructions. Yeah. This is way more simple. Yeah. Another really cool design that you may try is to wait for somebody to walk in into the scene. But it will take, oh, there's this guy walking, you see? Oh no, don't, don't, go up, go up, go up, go up. Man, go up. It's part of the workshop. This is so cool. Ah. You know what you want to get warm? Here you go. Seriously, it's such a workout. Actually, I, I was able to capture the man that was walking. Love it. So, so we are on the bus with everyone and we are heading to Potsdam Platz. We will continue shooting. there people are facing back facing of the sun the if this is opposite that would work okay, okay? so anything but it costs other people time so I think our responsibility as well is to respect your viewer sometimes I see people share like 50 images from the trip when some images are so bad and clearly they they want to be perceived as a serious photographers as I said if you show to your family that's a different story but if you kind of try to project, oh, I'm a serious photographer on the internet, here's my blog, here's this, don't overshare. Respect your viewer. I think we, as a viewers, you know, we deserve to be respected. Uh, so pick the best images, absolutely best. Yesterday we finished our visual poet experience workshop. We had uh, three great days with my students uh, we were all surprised uh, of our work we have we had a lot of great imagery today i have a time for uh for kasha and myself so we are walking around berlin trying to capture some interesting imagery uh slow down enjoy the visuals Currently, I'm shooting at the Potsdamer Platz, uh, one of my favorite places in Berlin for photography. A beautiful architecture, uh, fantastic play of light. So I try to get something creative. Many people ask me, uh, how do you learn photography? How do you start? And unfortunately, uh, some people go straight to a very busy street and try to compose a photograph. 
which I don't think is the best way to start. When you think about it, photography is all about light, line and perspective. And I do believe that the best way to start is to practice exactly that. So you need to find a spot or a place in your city when you would have a very simple uh, stage, when you would have only few elements and then uh, learn how to arrange this, these few elements into compelling composition. And we are in Berlin right now, and this is one of such places as Lobe House, is really remarkable architecture. Uh, as you can see, all you have is light, line, and perspective. So very few elements. Uh, you will have a people passing by uh, from time to time. But the most important objective for you when you start in photography is to try to look at a few simple lines, uh, take a look how light interacts with the place, and then put everything together. I just changed perspective and new lines, new design just revealed itself. I can even uh, move more this direction. And I have completely new design. Take a look at the shadow inside this opening. Shadows, you should always consider them as a part of your design. 